Now, many of the viewers of this video will be aware of the influence on ancient Sumeria, where this, this, this fully developed civilization seemed to appear from nowhere. I was just asking whether you can confirm in any way what a lot of people a lot of people suspect, which is that we actually are have been created or engineered by ETs who knew what they were doing and who, who wanted to create us for special purposes. Well, I, I don't have uh, absolute proof of that. That's one reason I'm building the laboratory here. But one of the things I did notice in uh, the late 70s and early 80s, uh, I did a lot of medical uh, equipment engineering and I designed a machine that uh, would read a field that surrounded the human body and could uh, could give you a readout on the condition of the organs the, uh, organ by organ in the body and uh, then it could locate or find or even create a medication that would fix it and uh, one of the things that I found was in the early beginning that that machine could pretty accurately come up with fifty uh, diagnosis rate of 50%. And uh, of course I wanted it to be perfect and spent a number of years finding out that the reason that I didn't get over 50% was because a lot of people had genetic errors in their genetic system and uh, as a result of that they had disease processes that were based on those genetic errors so you had to treat them very differently as people that had a disease that was based on uh, viri or germs or uh, you know other uh, parasites especially and uh, so I finally got it to where about 70 to 75 percent of the diagnoses appeared correct and the selection of medication treatment appeared so uh, correct. And then I thought, well, okay, there's 15 percent here that I really don't understand. And it was about, uh, oh, 10 or 15 years later that we got pretty familiar with and uh, pretty good with genetic testing. And I found that that 15 percent of people had very, very similar uh, sequences in the DNA that, that were unlike uh, the other 85% of the people and they were unlike anything else on Earth. They appeared to be alien to the Earth. And so I thought, well, that well could be through uh, exposure to some form of solar radiation or some type of ionizing radiation. And uh, so we looked at people that lived in areas that had uh, natural radioactive compounds like the areas in southern Utah where a lot of the, the uh, carnitite and other uranium bearing ores were mined and people that spent time there, people that were in fallout zones of nuclear testing at the nuclear test center in Nevada. Uh, we sent the gem to see why I couldn't get the uh, the final 15% of the uh, diagnostic readings correct and finally came to the conclusion that it was because these people had uh, DNA that was uh, uh, had come from off planet and that led me to think well if that's the case there must be some kind of historical record and when I went back and looked at the historical record I found out that there are numerous records and numerous uh, uh, archaeological evidence that uh, we were visited by people from uh, off-planet mm -hmm. and uh, very probably in my opinion not only off-planet but uh, extraterrestrial or extra solar system uh, type of visitors mm -hmm. and uh, you know there's there's so many different uh, uh, people that claim having seen such things, that they existed, uh, seen such peoples. There are several broad categories of such aliens. Uh, a few, a few, a small percentage of those could be attributed to anything from paranoia to uh, 
just tall tales or whatever, but when you have as many as there are, all the way down through all of recorded history, leads one to believe that it probably was very, very true that such things existed. And as an example, anyone who wants to find something from the past, uh, read Ezekiel in the Bible. Yeah. In the course of your work, have you encountered any documentation about the existence of our relationship with creatures like this? I have. Uh, most of them I can't talk about. Sure. But uh, yes, I've seen things written by uh, scientists that I have very high respect for. Some were uh, teachers of mine. Uh, some were people that I worked with scientifically in other fields. And uh, there were casual conversations about such things. Mm -hmm. And uh, led, that's why I have the beliefs that I have that, uh, uh, that we have extraterrestrial DNA in our bodies. And mm -hmm. some of us do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's rather interesting to note uh, that uh, there's been a lot of supposition about uh, various uh, various programs to uh, reprogram people's minds, mm -hmm. to uh, throw their thinking off, mm -hmm. to cause them to uh, believe things that aren't necessarily true, but uh, politically would be uh, a very good thing for those in politics and in government and in religion and. Uh, uh, it's interesting to note that uh, mind control techniques work on 85% of the people and the 15% that they don't work well on are people that have that particular DNA string. Uh-huh. Okay. So another, uh, you know, just another verification that those people are very different from the average person. Pete, uh, I'm sure we're going to have tons of people wanting to know of this 15% DNA category, is it all one type of person, like one race, or, or, or are they distributed throughout the population? And if you can't tell us, you can't tell us. No, they're, uh, they obviously run in family trees, along family tree lines or family lines, but they're pretty well distributed throughout all different cultures and races. Thank you. I thought that was the case. And uh, which would be, which again would be to me a confirmation that they probably did happen because why would someone come and select mm. just one, mm. one race or, or one family line? So this is black and white and right. red and Amerindian. Red and, and yellow and, and okay. green and blue and whatever. Yep. How about uh, your DNA? Are you one of those? As far as I know, I am. We probably all are in this room. <laughs> and uh, we probably all are in this room. As yeah. a matter yeah. of fact, I've mm. found that as, as the last uh, 10 or 12 years have progressed, I've noticed that uh, many people, when I talk to about things that I know that are a fact in both uh, science, mathematics, and, mm. and in history, as well as in my belief system, uh, I talk to certain people, and the 85% that I don't seem to have a medical problem with i.e. the ones that have quote-unquote normal human mm. DNA. I don't seem to understand what you're talking uh, about. <laughs> when I talk to them, it used to be that they would call me crazy, mm. or it used to be that they'd be more really interested and want to learn about it. But uh, nowadays when you talk to those people, when you're done talking, they don't say, that's crazy, you're crazy, I don't believe it. They come back into consciousness and start talking like you'd never said a word. Yeah, Absolutely. interesting. And so the people watching this video are probably among the 15%. They're self-selective in many areas. Well, really I, I, from what you've told me about yeah. uh, the people that, uh, that you deal with, I would uh, believe that. They're uh, probably in that 15%. Okay.